Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm gonna try a hair product out today. This is from African Pride. It is Moisture Miracle Leave-In Cream. And I hope it's great because I got another nice big tub of cream. This is, this is 15 ounces. So, let me just read a little bit about it and some people might not think certain products are good for my hair, but if it says curls, I'm gonna use it because I have curly hair. So if it just says like coils, then I know that's not for my type of hair. That's like more like type four curl. I have more like a three curl, three B. I've changed over the years. My curls aren't as tight as they used to be, but they're still curly hair. Very dry, coarse curly hair, but it's still curly. Okay, this has coconut oil and, let's see if I say it right, baobab oil. Baobab oil, baobab. Please help me with that one, guys. I don't know, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. But yeah, provides intense moisture and helps repair natural coils and curls. This has no mineral oil, it has no petroleum, it has no paraben, it has no sulfites, which I know a lot of you guys like. I personally don't follow Curly Go Method, so if it makes my hair feel and look good, I'm gonna use it. I don't really care what the ingredients are. And I know a lot of you are probably gonna yell at me for that, but again, I'm, I'm on the older spectrum of most curly hair people on here probably, and I've had my curls for quite a while, so I know if something's gonna damage my hair over time, like certain ingredients. And my hair has not changed at all. If anything, it made it better over the years. But that's, I think, having babies, and you know, your hair texture can change. I've heard of people who have straight hair, and after they had a baby, they had curly hair, which that one I find crazy, because I'm like, ooh, I could see your curls getting straighter over time, but your hair to get curly over time, that's kind of wild. Unless they always had it and they didn't realize it and then they had a baby and they didn't have time to dry and style their hair so they just sat there and it air dried curly. That makes more sense. I bet that's what it is. Okay, it's funny. You always see like on TikTok these videos sometimes. I never knew I had curly hair. Who knew? And then they do like um, curly hair techniques and all of a sudden they have curly hair. I don't know. I think you know if you have curly hair or not. I mean, unless really, honestly, I could see, I did dry my hair naturally the other day with no product. I should show you guys because I did the highlights. Remember, so I had to do like a two-stepper. So I had to dry my hair before I did the highlights, which I wish I didn't do, to be quite honest with you. I don't hate them, but they went more red and that's exactly the color that I always have been trying to get out of my hair for years. Whatever. So when I dried it like that, I literally dried it the same like I would with the diffuser out of curiosity with no product in my hair. And it was just like more like flat and wavy and frizzy, just like frizzy. Hi. Oh, let's see. I have a text from my daughter. Hmm. Hi. That's what she says with a bunch of eyes. Let me get back to the hair. <sighs> okay. So yeah, I got to be honest with you. I'm going to discuss a little bit about my hair color. I'm just, I'm going to have to go somewhere and get it professionally colored. I tried. I think it's a good, I did good over the years. I understand that. But because I made it so dark, I don't know how to get it light again. And I really just wanted to put some highlights in and keep the dark and put like light brown highlights, but that turned out to be more like, they look a little red. So, all right. I'm going in with a product, which by the way, smells so yummy. It smells like a pina colada which I would love to have right now, in a pool in Jamaica. It says to go in with a generous amount, but just in case, I'm gonna start slow, and then I can get a feel for if I do need more or not. My hair likes a lot of product. I know a lot of you guys think I use too much. That's just what my hair likes. Again, I've been doing styling my hair for 30 years now, plus. Before that, I was just ponytailing it and didn't like know how to style my curls. I think I figured it out though. Feels good. I'm putting in like the usual amount. I'm not putting in less or more than usual. I'm just putting in what I usually will put in. Okay, product is in and we are gonna diffuse. Okay guys, look at my hair. It's styled, it's done. It's beautiful. I think, in my opinion, I think my hair looks exactly what I always want it to look and exactly what I always want it to feel like. So far, this is a great product. Like, so good for my hair. I love it. Love it. My hair feels so good. I love when my hair feels soft. 
I don't like when my hair feels greasy, but this is not greasy. Oh, my hair feels so soft. My hair looks soft. It looks like it's just like falling down nicely. Um, wow, I really love the way this made my hair look. Do you guys agree? But the biggest test is, not so much the biggest test, but a big test is to see if it lasts all day. So we're gonna do the usual because you don't wanna buy a product that, oh, it looks so good. And then like in an hour or two, all the curls will come out and, cause it happens, it does happen. I don't know if this is gonna happen so much cause I'm just a little, little concerned. I don't think it's gonna happen, but because it's so soft that maybe the curls aren't, no, they're, they're pretty, see, they're defined, but they could separate. You see that? They're already separating a little. So that's my only concern, because it's so soft that it's like not enough of a hold, but I don't think that's gonna happen here. So we'll find out. We're gonna go out, go with my husband. We're gonna go out shopping. And I'll talk about that in a second on oh, the other camera, because I gotta start cleaning up here so we can go out. I will catch you guys. We'll do check-ins. You'll come out with us. And yeah, I'll see you later. Okay. I was just gonna film, but you know, someone just walked in the door. We won't say who. We're gonna sign up, I think, for one of those. Um... You're gonna go with your uh, soup then? Yeah, drink it all, eat it all. All of it? Sure. You're crazy. I'm giving him my leftover soup from the diner last night because I forgot I had it. And I made this. Um... So we're gonna go. We're gonna open an account up at one of those stores, like supermarkets by us on Long Island at least. It's BJ's or Costco. Yes, you heard that right. Why would anybody name their store that? I don't know. I still try to figure it out. I, I just can't understand it. I should Google it. We used to be jo a member of Costco? I think it was Costco years ago. And we would go with the kids. <laughs> and we even went without the kids and we would still spend a ridiculous amount of money, hundreds. And we'd come home with like Twizzlers and Capri Sun and muffins, like stupid stuff. So now that the kids aren't here, I don't know. It's just something to do. I'm not going to lie. It's just something to do today. So we're like, let's just go. Let's go check it out. And I'm going to tell you years ago when I was like seriously budgeting, you know, when the kids are little and stuff, I'm seriously budgeting every little penny. And I'm like, I wonder if this is worth it. And I would literally, I did this at the time. I literally looked at the prices there and I kept my receipt from the supermarket and I figured it out as far as ounces like how much it cost here per ounce so that I could do it that way and the prices were exactly the same in everything everything meats I'm not counting but like typical stuff if you bought if you bought in the supermarket the same amount it came out to be the same price so I think the point is so that you don't have to constantly go to the supermarket, especially if you have little kids. My problem with these stores back in the day, my son was extremely picky and he liked his Capri Sun. I'm going to use that as an example. And if you get Capri Sun there, they're all mixed. But he only liked one certain flavor. I can't even remember. Was it Tropical Cooler or something? Speaking of the devil, he's Snapchatting. Um, and you couldn't get just that so then I'd have all these flavors that nobody wanted and it was like that with everything even pasta what if you just like rigatoni you can't I mean maybe it's changed I haven't been there that long but they would have a mixed box of all mixed types of pot like that's why I got fed up I'm like I just want a bunch of the same flavor or whatever and it was kind of hard back then to get it's probably still the same to be honest but we're gonna go for fun because honestly even during the holidays they have like good gifts so we haven't been there in so, so long. So we're going to check it out. We have become old. Not going to lie. We went to the diner last night at like, well, that's not old. We went at six, but we got, we got like dessert. And I just laughed because I'm like, we were like too little. Like, oh, let's get a dessert now. It is what it is though, guys. And I accept it. I accept it. I don't care. When the kids aren't home, it's like, so calm it's like what else do you do all right let's go out to eat for early let's go beat the crowd I get it now I get it and uh, let's go to bed early like why not I'm trying I'm getting better at it but I literally just lost a week not lost a week I gained a week I should say but lost a week as far as trying to get to bed early because Sophia came home for a few days then I went to the girls apartment for a few days and then Alina came home for a few days so now we're back to just 
So we gotta get back in the routine. Every time we like get used to it, fucking kids coming home. I don't understand it. So anyway, I love when they come home. I cry every time they leave. They don't know it. I hope they're not watching this, but it, I just miss them so much. But I'm so happy for them too. So I love this life. I love it, but I miss them. And it's okay, because thank God for Snapchat and FaceTime, etc. So I'm gonna go, because he's gonna eat his soup. I'm gonna finish this, and then we're gonna go. And uh, maybe you'll come along. We'll see. But look at the hair. Too soon to check in, but I just love the way it feels. Oh, it's brightness. Look at this, like, look at my roots. Like, I just don't like the way my hair color is. Mm. And then it does this like, mm, thing. What is that? I have to train it to maybe start going down. What do you think? I don't know how to train your hair. All right, so I'm gonna go. Hair's still looking good, except for the color, but we're not gonna discuss the color. See, like, I feel like I look bold. That's my gray hair coming in. It's just so light, and it looks terrible. I hate it. I want my hair to start going downward. It always gets pulled because I put my hair up, I guess. That's probably why, all these years. But see the color now has a red tint in it? I'm so pissed. I mean, I like that it's got like a highlight, but not that highlight. I don't want anything to do with red hair. It took me so long to get that red out of my hair last time. Um, I want light brown. Why is this so hard? I gotta go to the professionals. I'm gonna have to just go to the professionals and ask them to do it. I'm gonna need a professional to tell me how to get it lighter on this dark color. Like just maybe some, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna color my whole hair. Maybe just like where I tried to put these highlights in, I want the same, but I only want, but I want them to be more brown, like dark blonde. That'd be too contrasting, but you know what I mean? Like a chocolate, this has red in it. It's not supposed to have red in it. Hello. Hi. Oh, you mad because the sun is on your head and it's you look gray? Off. He's not really bald. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, how does my hair look? Because I want your honest opinion. It smells nice. Does it? Yeah. Like a pina colada, right? Yeah, I thought it was in the, in the islands. So. I wish. <laughs> my hair came out so good. This is called African Pride. Nice. So. It's good. I think it looks so good. Like, I have to admit, this might be like something I use like every day because it makes my hair feel good. So I like, if a product makes my hair feel good and it has good ingredients, then I'm gonna use it. And I'm loving the way my hair looks. Except for the coloring here. My roots are all messed up. I don't know what to do, but I told we talked about that already. All right, so we're going to the store now, right? Oh, yep. your head is all bright. It's terrible. <laughs> I'll go on me. <laughs> well, just look at me, because I know he doesn't like that. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah, we're gonna go check this out, and hopefully uh, we don't spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. They used to only take cash back in the day, too, remember? No, did they? Really? Yes, they only took cash. Uh -huh. These stores were only actually only accessible to restaurant Bus owners businesses. and businesses. Um, this I'm going way back. But what's all this? Yeah. Wow, this many deliveries now? Yeah. For home deliveries? I've never seen this many oh. trucks. Well, no one's getting deliveries if they're all sitting there. That's a good point. Business must be bad then, maybe, huh? What the heck was that? That was wild. All right, anyway, um, I will, let's, we'll, let's go inside. We're almost there. You can get mattresses here. <laughs> You can get beds. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can get chairs here. What's that? Oh, for your poker nights. See, this is what I'm saying. He thinks we're going to come in here and spend nothing. He's out of his mind. Oh, I see some makeup. I'll be right back, guys. What are you doing? You see stuff? Oh, no, that's paint. That's for paint, not makeup brushes. We got plenty of pens now, right? All right, let's keep going. I have a habit. Like, I literally went to just, like, sweater because it looks so soft and I ended up talking to someone. You know you I have a problem. I just like stop and talk to people. I they know. just talk to me. I don't know what it is. I say one nice thing and then they like just have a conversation with me. So I got stuck. Okay. Oh my god, I'm in heaven. That's all I'm gonna say. Heaven, heaven. This is what we could come and buy and spend all our money on. Look at it. Of course getting bigger and bigger. What is it? Oh, get them. Yeah? Why not? See, but that's like a lot of, see, this is why it adds up. It's too much, it's too much. Don't get them, don't get them. Twizzlers, that's, I don't even want those. But we gotta get some snack for tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for the week. 
Which one do we get? That's the bark sins. Oh my god. So good. Trail mix. No. See, they don't have my. I like Swedish fish, but I like the colorful, like different color ones. Different skies. Trust me. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. I'm so excited. You got one? This is the price for a small one. So we're definitely getting this. They got Shea Moisture. Okay guys, doing a little check-in. It's right before dinner. Um, we got some salmon. To make and that's what we're gonna have with rice how's the hair like loving it it feels still feels great but definitely like it definitely dried more it doesn't feel dry I'm not saying that but it's not it doesn't feel as moisturized as it didn't at the beginning but it definitely feels fine it feels good it feels really good still and it looks fabulous doesn't it I hope this lights okay I have my lamp on Literally, and that's my computer making my hair blue. But, um, and that's Wilma. Boy. She, uh, is so cute, I can't take it. But I really wanted you to see, see how my highlights are like dumb. They're just dumb. I hate it. But then I remembered, I was like, how I kept saying to you, I should go somewhere and get it. Is my face too bright? I feel like my face is too bright. I think the lighting is a little better. Um, <laughs> still looks good. I did take a nap. I took a nap, so this might be a little flattened, but that's only because of the nap. But I'm gonna tell you something. This is gonna be my everyday product, and it's a tub, which means I can use a lot. It's like my mixed chicks. Yes, it's my favorite, but they sent me this big, big tub that it, that one stays in my bathroom, and I use that. I don't like to use my favorite ones every day, but sometimes it's just right there. It's simple. I have this big tub. I'm gonna be using this too, because I'm not, I'm. This stuff is great. This stuff is great. See, I think I need stuff with like coconut oil and biobab, bio, baobab, baobab oil. I need creams. This is what works for me best. Just does. Oh, I think someone's coming upstairs with a gift for me. Let's see. It is what I thought it was. Yeah, a little French rosé. Wow, look at that entrance. Thank you, my dear. There you go. Thank you. This was a beautiful, um, Bottle given to me from a good friend. Mm. Mm. Okay. I haven't had rosé in a while. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, Cheers. Okay. Okay. I'll see you later. We're gonna cook together, right? Yeah, we'll cook. In my mess we there. eat too. Anything else? Everything together. A little rosé. I haven't had rosé in a while. I was drinking rosé all summer. I was, but then the winter came and I went to my red. But sometimes um, rosé is nice too. Lovely. Oh, this is what I was gonna say before. <clears throat> Oh my god, I started talking before and I forgot to tell you. When we were talking about my color, um, which I always talk about and I apologize. I do, because I feel like it's... A, I, I mention it on every video. You see see how I'm strategically keeping my roots up there? <laughs> no, that's terrible. So we'll do this. Um, I have a big forehead anyway. I remembered feeling like this. It was less than a year ago. It might have been over the summer. I don't recall. I honestly don't recall. But it wasn't that long ago. And I still had this like red tint in my hair. And I wanted to get rid of it. Um, I went. I spent like $60. And it was the guy. He's like, yeah, we'll throw it. He think he just toned it or something. And he said, that should give you what you want. He also told me I should shampoo every day with blue shampoo. And I'll get to achieve what I want. Is that true? Because I did it. Oh my god, I never did a video on that. <gasps> I meant to do a video. I used the blue shampoo for two weeks straight. I think even three weeks. And I wanted to see, test it and see it. And it didn't do anything. I mean, it kept it, you know, from looking those colors. And I did use blue shampoo today, actually. I did use blue conditioner. When I say blue shampoo, I meant to say blue conditioner. Because I buy, I don't shampoo every day, so... 
there's no need for me to buy that one. But they have conditioner, which I do every day. I think I'm talking too much again. <laughs> but I just saying, I went, I spent $60 and nothing was achieved. My hair did not change a stitch. So that now I remember why I did that. Unless I go and actually ask them for highlights, I feel like every time I go and I'm like, this is what I want, can you do it? And then they're like, no, you can't get that done. We can't do that on your hair. It's never gonna work, da 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 da. And then I get annoyed and I end up doing it myself and I accomplish it, usually. I'm gonna have to look into it. I just don't have time. If I look into it, I could do it. We'll go to like Sally's and get like toners and stuff and it should be interesting. It should be interesting. I, I have to go back and work because I took a long nap and I was supposed to be doing work during that time, but the nap was just so much better. We'll see you in a bit. Final check-in, later. Do you like my salmon? I, the reason why I'm under here is because the light under the stove is terrible. I talk a lot. He's yelling at me saying that I talk too much. Can you get my head? Oh, you know what? You're doing it again like you did in Jamaica. Flip the thing so you could see me. You can't see me. I see me. Is that better? Do you not talk? All right, it's going in the oven. Some salmon seasoned. Is it hot? Woo! Yeah, baby. I'm gonna put a timer on, right? Because I don't remember things. I'm gonna do 15 seconds. Stop! First of all, can I say I wanna wash my face? Because, all right, now nobody's gonna watch me anymore. I did a tanning this morning, because I need it for the week. I try to do that once a week. I use something. And my face looks dirty now, right? All right, go away. You're annoying me. I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> Give me this. Playing games. Not playing games. Let's go. How do you like it, big nose? Huh? Put me in. Put me in. Yeah. All right. Listen. I'm going to make the rice. You like that? Come okay. In. I'm going to make the rice now, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, we are about to eat this delicious meal that I prepared. Mm -hmm. We have rice too. <laughs> oh look, my hair does look lighter, actually. Actually, I kind of like, why does my hair look nicer on camera than it does in the mirror? What's the true thing? Is the mirror real or is the camera real? You got a fish head, bro. I'm not your bro. <laughs> Okay, guys, my hair, I absolutely love, it's, it's, my hair fell perfectly, like Come one here. of those products that make my hair look good. Give me a nice serving here. This looks yum, yum, yum. Yes, I am using paper plates, and I don't care. Look how pretty that looks. Mine looks better, though, look. Wow, even on the, what would you do if you went to a fancy restaurant and they served it to you on a paper plate? As long as it's good, I'll go back. Okay, guys, I'm gonna call it a night. Because I'm tired, I'm gonna wash up. My hair stayed so good all night long. And I'm actually liking the color in the camera. I don't know, I wish this is not what it looks like in person though. It looks darker, but maybe the highlights do look like this. It's not bad. I ate so much crap. We bought the M&M's. I had some M&M's. Peanut M&M's. What else did I eat? I'm just like, I'm so stuffed. We had, I had a salmon dinner though. I had like a healthy meal. What did I eat for dessert after? Oh my God, this is so funny. I know what I ate. That's like ugh, in my stomach, but I forgot to tell you, I want to tell you this funny story quickly, quickly, and then I'm gonna wash up, go to bed. We stopped at the supermarket and I, he ran it, Joe ran in and he goes, if you need anything, just text me. I said, all right. And like, I texted him like pretty much the second after he left. Cause I'm like, oh, you know what? Yes, we got junk food, but I didn't get like, I was in, I like to always have like a gummy. I like like gummy lifesavers something once in a while and it's Saturday night. You know, watching Ozark, and he came back without my things. I'm like, oh, all right, whatever. And he goes, I told you to text. I said, well, you told me to text you. He goes, oh, I didn't look at my phone. I said, I know you did on purpose. I'm thinking, because you're like, yeah, she doesn't need those. I think I'm right. And he says, no, I didn't. And I'm like, well, then <laughs> he, I, we played each other's bluff. He goes, fine, I'll go get, I'll go back in. Now we are in the middle of the parking lot in the supermarket, he's gonna go in. It would be easier to go to Rite Aid. Cause no, I'll go in. I said, all right, fine. 
I, I like played his bluff and he stopped he looked at me I'm like no and he's like no I'll go because it was joking like I think I might have said I don't know I don't know but it was funny but he went back in so then he never would I would never do that I would be like no forget it but I didn't think he was gonna do it and he was out of the car before I could say oh <laughs> anyway I ate like the whole bag not the whole bag a lot of it a lot of it I only left like a small handful Ooh, but I still feel full. Oh my god, and we had chocolate chip cookies, Chips Ahoy from Entenmann's. Oh, I didn't have too many of those though because I've been full. Dinner made me nice and full. Okay, guys, I think what I have to do, I'm just looking at the camera. Maybe I have to now make my roots a little darker. Darker roots would look better, right? It's because I had light roots in here. Because my hair, my hair is lighter mixed with gray. It just keeps growing in. Okay, enough with the talk of my hair color. I'm sorry. Okay, guys, I'm going to say goodnight. Wonderful product. I'm literally going to be using this. This is going to be, look, I love my mixed chicks. It's always in here. Yeah, it is. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be leaving this product in here too now because it's really cheap. It's really cheap. This big tub is under $10. So, mm-hmm. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this probably, but... You know, as usual, we gotta let it go and we'll see if it makes it to the quarterly review because what if all of a sudden I keep using it and it's like all of a sudden I hate it. So, always wait for that. That's the final. Actually, yeah, it's the final, but then actually the real finale is the end of the year, but we just had that from last year, so we're not even gonna go there yet. I mean, 2023? No! Let's enjoy 2022. 2022 is gonna be a great year. I feel it. My husband, I feel it. His number's 22. This is the year. Mm -mm. Manifest it. Manifest it. Just manifest it. That's what we all do in this house. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm going to go. Good night.